Hi all, welcome to this course on PPC. Today we'll be learning about the fixed quantity system, which is the Q system or the inventory model or control of inventory model. So the control of inventory system is generally dependent upon two factors or two systems, which is the Q system and the P system, where either the quantity is fixed, which is also called as the fixed order quantity system or the Q system. If the review system is constant, then we say that it is fixed periodic review system, which is also called as the P system. So the control of inventory systems are of two types, which are the Q system and the P system. Q system. What is this Q system? In this, we are generally having the fixed order quantity system. Like if we take the graph or if we plot a graph between the units and the time, and we see the different types of reorder and the demand level and the other types of graph or here we find out that the units based upon the demand during the lead time and the time when we find out then we find out that the basis of reserve stock safety stock and demand during the lead time and the reorder level can be found out by utilizing these values like the reorder level is finally being given based upon the values of the safety stock reserve stock and the demand during the lead time so the number of units which are being present according to the units and the time the reorder level is being defined by showing this graph or as in the as shown in this graph so finally we say that the reorder level is equal to the demand during the lead time or dlt plus this reserve stock plus the safety stock hence the q system or the fixed order quantity system has the demand during the lead time which is given by demand per unit time into the lead time the reserve stock is given as the annual demand into maximum delay in weeks divided by the number of weeks in a year into the probability of the maximum maximum delay and finally the safety stock is given as k into sigma where k is the service constant and sigma is the standard deviation in the demand during the lead time which is equals to the lead time or root over of lead time into the standard deviation per week. So when we have the values of this demand lead time, the reserve stock and the safety stock, then we can directly find out what is the ROL or the reorder level, which is equals to the sum of all these three, the demand during the lead time plus the safety stock and the reserve stock. This is how a Q system works. Thank you.